Welcome back to the second part of my vegan Thanksgiving series. Today we'll be making mashed potatoes and gravy, which is one of the most classic Thanksgiving dishes out there. Before this, we made a traditional stuffing, so if you wanna check out that recipe, I will link to it at the end of this video. Mashed potatoes and gravy to me is pure comfort food, so that's what I'll be giving you today. So stay tuned and I'll show you how easy it is to veganize mashed potatoes and gravy. For our mashed potatoes, I'm going to add some red skin potatoes to a large saucepan. Then I'm going to add enough cold water to cover the potatoes, bring that mixture to a boil, and then lower the heat to a simmer. Cover the pan and let the potatoes cook for about 25 to 35 minutes until they're fork tender. Just get in there for some potato steam. Steam is good for your face, clears up pimples. These potatoes have been simmering for the last 30 minutes and to test whether they're done, just need a fork, stab it and uh, you can tell if it's fork tender. Like this guy's almost falling apart, that's a good sign. And I'm leaving the skins on because I prefer a little bit of texture to my potatoes, but if you don't like skin on or if you like creamier potatoes, feel free to take the skin off. And I'm just gonna use an electric mixer to break up the potatoes a little. If you don't have one, that's fine, you can use a potato masher. And once I've broken up the potatoes a bit, I will add the rest of the ingredients. To make the mashed potatoes creamy, I'm using vegan butter instead of traditional dairy butter. And instead of using milk or cream, I'm using cashew cream, which I'll show you how to make. To make the potatoes super flavorful, I'm adding roasted garlic and a generous amount of salt and pepper. If you don't know what cashew cream is, it's simply raw cashews that have been soaked in water for several hours and then blend it until really thick and creamy. You can use it as a pasta sauce, a salad dressing, and today I'll be using it to add creaminess to mashed potatoes. These are some raw cashews that I soaked for about three to four hours. I'm just gonna add them to my Vitamix. If you don't have a high-speed blender, I recommend you do this in the food processor instead. Help. To make this a little richer, I'm gonna be adding vegetable stock instead of water. If you have homemade vegetable stock, that's even better, but I'm lazy and I don't make homemade stock, so store-bought. Then I'm adding some nutritional yeast, or nooch, as vegans like to call it, and that adds a little bit of cheesy flavor and some savoriness. Then I'm adding some sea salt. This is what the cashew cream should look like after being blended for a few minutes. For our garlic roasted mashed potatoes, we're gonna roast a whole head of garlic. After you add the roasted garlic and cashew cream to the potatoes, along with the vegan butter, salt and pepper, you can start mixing them up. Once the rest of the ingredients have started to incorporate into the potatoes, stop using the electric mixer and switch to a wooden spoon. You don't want to over mix it, otherwise the potatoes will get gummy and nobody likes gummy mashed potatoes. At this point you want a taste test to see if you need any more salt, pepper, garlic or cashew cream. A little more cashew cream, a little more salt. I just finished eating a hefty amount of mashed potatoes, so now I'm gonna get started with the gravy. When it comes to gravy, the most important thing is that you have a lot of savory flavor. So today I'm gonna to be using shiitake mushrooms because they pack a lot of umami in them, but if you can't find shiitake mushrooms, you could use portobello mushrooms or cremini mushrooms. To start the gravy, I'm finely dicing up some shallots and sauteing them in olive oil until translucent. Next, I'm adding the chopped shiitake mushrooms and sauteing until they're tender and release their liquid. If you want to minimize the amount of oil you use, you can just add a few tablespoons of water while cooking the mushrooms to prevent them from burning. For flavor, I'm adding some garlic, fresh rosemary, and fresh thyme leaves and stirring them until fragrant. And to give the gravy some rich flavor, I'm adding some spicy red wine, followed by vegetable stock and gluten-free soy sauce, also known as tamari. Wow. 
While that mixture comes to a boil, I'll prepare a paste made from nutritional yeast, almond milk, and cornstarch, or arrowroot powder. Mix it up with the whisk and add the paste to the gravy, making sure to whisk constantly. Finally, I'm adding some miso paste to boost the savory umami flavors of the gravy. I hope this video got you hungry for a bowl of mashed potatoes, or at the very least, excited about Thanksgiving. If it did, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting a new Thanksgiving recipe in just a few days. I'll see you then and thanks so much for watching.